All right, gamers, it's time to take a look at some peak retardation. Uh, let me see if I can make this image a little bit bigger. I hate this. How does it work? But anyway, uh, yeah, so I saw this, uh, this tier list on X, Elon Musk's new social media platform, and I just had to, like, just had to make a video bitching about it because this really does demonstrate, I think, how out of touch the uh, LGBT community actually is when it comes to the coverage of uh, characters and games, right? Because they really do think that their fan wink nonsense is eventually going to become canon or is like the real truth or whatever, that they really do think that like uh, they can just kind of adopt certain characters and like mold them into whatever they want, you know, kind of like how they manipulate children online to believe they're trans or whatever. Um, so yeah, like there is this like obsessive compulsive need in the LGBT community to pretend as if like characters in games are might be LGBT or might be allies or might be like something, you know? So uh, let's take a look at this list and see like just how ridiculous it is. This is of course like a tier maker list of, of uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate characters specifically. And uh, yeah, it's about whether or not these characters are gay. So let's let's take a look at this. Uh, all right, straight ally, Mario, DK, Samus Aran, Fox, Ness, Captain Falcon, Doctor Mario, Young Link, Lucina, Zero Suit Samus, Solid Snake, Diddy Kong, Toon Link, Mega Man, Rosalina, Little Mac, Politetta, Richter Belmont. Incineroar, Banjo and Kazooie, Terry Bogard. Okay, like, it's just, gotta love how the the individual who put this together, uh, he put all, of, like, the major video game protagonists that we all know and love in this list. Uh, that seems to be the big, big major takeaway I... I can see here. Uh, nothing really odd about this list, other than the fact that, like, it assumes that, like, all of these characters would support the LGBT community when obviously they wouldn't. Like, the closest you probably get is, like, Snake standing up for a vamp in Metal Gear Solid 2, like, for being bisexual. Well, standing up, quote unquote. Like, uh, he calls out Raiden for, uh, It's it, it's complicated, but like yeah, it's he's not necessarily an ally, right? Uh, if if anything, I remember back when a MGS uh, four came out, how it was like a very big thing among female fans to pretend that like Snake and Otacon were gay because they were living in like the uh, in an airship, like uh, with a with uh, raising a little girl, like you know, like again, not gay at all, but. Some people tried to make it out to be. So, if anything, like, I'm kind of surprised Snake is in the straight ally category, but whatever. Uh, okay. So, uh, the next list down. Straight. Quotation marks. In denial. Bowser. You know, the character that explicitly says he's in love with Princess Peach and kidnaps her constantly. Yeah, he's in denial that he's gay. Apparently. Ridiculous. Uh, Ike. <laughs> okay, the whole Ike thing is hilarious. Because, like, the big conspiracy theory about Ike is that he is gay. But it isn't true at all, and it's just, like, a bunch of fan wank theories. So, like, I find it odd. Like, again, this this is why I think this list was made by someone who doesn't know anything about the characters. Because, like, you know, there are characters on this list that, like, do have, like, really strong LGBT uh, fan bases. But, like, they're, the characters aren't where they uh, they should be. Uh, in regards to that community. So yeah, Shulk has a canon female love interest, uh, Fiora. Uh, Simon Belmont. Bro, 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 bro. If Simon was gay, Richter would not exist. Like, come on. Like, we know Simon had has uh, has children, right? Because we see, like, several of his descendants, right? 
you know, Juste specifically says that, like, Simon was his bell, uh, was his grandfather, right? Not, not his great-grandfather, I believe. So, like, okay, like, again, no, no understanding of the characters at all. And then, like, Mithra, which is, this, this is the thing that bothers me, too. Mithra and Pyra are in two completely different sections, which in and of itself is laughable, because, like, they're, they're a split personality, but, like, Mithra, okay, straight in denial yeah okay then why did she and pyra have rex's kids like like come on ridiculous okay straight up gay marth has a canon wife shida you would know this if you ever played fire emblem one or the remake shadow dragon right this is very very well established in the lore uh if that didn't happen lucina wouldn't exist crom wouldn't exist like it's just ridiculous that you would label marth as gay crom as gay when his daughter, who is canon, by the way, is in the game as well. <laughs> like, does this person not know that Lucina is Crom's daughter? That's that's the only explanation for this. Like, we might be at the point now where, like, uh, some people genuinely don't know. Uh, yeah, Dark Pit. Yeah. Like, the evil clone of Pit is gay. I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so this is Ken. This is Simon Belmont. Okay. So that's even more ridiculous. Yeah, again, like, straight up in the gay category? No, fuck you. Again, I already explained that. Okay. But yeah, Ken has a, has a canon wife and child. So. So no. Uh, that's also wrong. Uh, bisexual. Luigi. Daisy. Roy. Lucas. Pac-Man. Cloud, Min Min, and Pyra. Like, I don't even know how you would come to this to this conclusion for any of these characters. Like, that's that's the thing I don't understand is like, how do you classify these characters as bisexual? Like, is it because Lucas is overly emotional? Like, is it because Daisy is a tomboy? Like, is it because Luigi is a coward? Like, what what is the mindset here? I, I don't understand it. And of course, like, you know, Pac-Man has a canon love interest, Mrs. Pac-Man. Cloud Strife has Tifa. Uh, you know, Pyra has Rex. Like, unless you, like, again, like, you could argue she's in, like, she's basically a harem girl. Like, you could argue, like, she, Rex, Mithra, and Mia are in, like, this weird, bizarre four-way relationship. But, like, I don't know, like, she she's in a harem. Like, it's not... The girls are not together in that in that scenario. Uh, yeah, so Min Min, again, kind of a tomboy. Uh, but yeah, like, why exactly would you would you think that about any of these characters? It, it's just absurd. Okay, so pansexual. Like, I feel like I need to need to explain what pansexuality even is. Like, the idea is that like you're so depraved, you're like down to do anything, essentially. So like Jigglypuff. Uh, Male and female versions of the character exist. Like, there is no one Jigglypuff, is, is kind of what I'm saying. And the Smash one, I believe, is a man? I'll have to, like, uh, I'll have to look. I don't think it's a female Jigglypuff. I'll, I'll have to check. I mean, most people just assume it's a chick, but uh, whatever. It, it's a Jigglypuff, like, it's a Pokemon, like, whatever. Robin. Yeah. Okay, Robin only has female love interests. Well, actually, uh, you know, the, female Robin exists, so, like, you know, she has male love interests, and the male Robin has female love interests. So, yeah, like, canonically straight. Bayonetta. <laughs> canonically straight. She has a daughter by Bayonetta 3. And uh, Sora, you know, the most wholesome character in all of video games, is pansexual, according to this list. Like, huh? What, what are you talking about, bro? Like, uh, okay, so Link, queer. Okay, is that why he goes to save Zelda? Like, come on. Like, Peach, queer. Okay, is <laughs> explain her relationship to Mario then. You know, Olimar, you know, has a wife and kids. You know, Lucario is a Pokemon. You know, like, uh, Corin. Okay, I'll... Corrin might be the only character on this list that's, like, 
technically bisexual. Well, technically. Uh, yeah, I think I'll... <coughs> but, but again, like, that's uh, the one character that should be in bisexual, though. But anyway, like, uh, yeah, that's Corrin. Uh, Isabel. Yeah, no, Joker. Bro, like, the harem master himself. Like, the god of high school. Like, Joker. No, fuck you. Uh, is that Bylet? I think it is, yeah. Bylet. Uh... No, because uh, my Violet is in love with Edelgard. Okay, queer but doesn't realize it. Yoshi, Kirby, Mewtwo, Game and Watch, Pit, King DDD, Greninja, and Ridley. I don't, I don't, like they have way too many categories. I don't understand why these these uh, these categories are sectioned the way they are. Like I, I just don't know. Like, what qualifications do you have for, like, saying Yoshi is queer but doesn't realize it? Again, especially since, like, Yoshi is a species and not an individual, individual character. You know, like, Greninja. Say it with Greninja. Like, Kirby. Kirby does not have a sexuality. Uh, so it's like, okay, come on. Homophobic. Base Zelda. Okay, I'll, I'll give them that. That's pretty base. Garud, uh, Ganondorf. Oh, man. <laughs> this is the best list so far. Looking at these absolute chads. You know, the Pokemon trainer. Animal Crossing, Wii Fit trainer. Yeah, probably because she knows the difference between men and women. Uh, yeah, Me Fighters. And King K. Rule, our guy. Absolute chads. The absolute legends that speak out against the gay agenda. Uh, okay, so homophobe in denial. Like, what does that mean? That, like, they're in denial that they're a homophobe or in denial that they're homosexual? That That's kind of, like, I, I'm, I'm legit confused about this. Like, Sheik is in here. Wolf is in here. Uh, the hero is in here, which is a laughable, considering fucking Silvando is, like, one of the gayest characters in a major RPG ever. Like, the entire, like, the entire character is about, like, <laughs> is about coming out. It, it, it's all a giant allegory for, like, coming out. It's, uh, yeah, to say he's, like, homophobic, considering Silvando exists, is, like, laughable. Not that I think, like, Silvando's actually gay, but, like, um, yeah, that is, uh, yeah, that is, that is not true at all. Yeah, Wolf is there, Sheik is there, uh, Falco, I don't know what the lo logic behind this is. Okay. Okay, Arrow Ace doesn't care what is love. Yeah, Dark Samus. Okay, yeah, I'll give, I'll give them that. Dark Samus is like a freak of nature. Uh, Pikachu is there. Pichu's there. Like, they're Pokemon. Of course they have to breathe. Like, uh, Ice Climbers are there. Meta Knight. Wario. Uh, uh, Bowser Jr. Ryu. Inkling Girl. Yeah. Kazuya here. Which is, like, hilarious. Because, uh, you know, Kazuya, again, has, uh, had an affair with Jun and and spawn Jin, you know? Like, again, like, they don't they don't make good fathers, but the Mishimas do have, do fucking have kids. Like, they gotta keep, like, the, the cycle of, of hatred going. Like, we gotta keep making new Tekken games, right? So, like, for me, uh, yeah, let's see, Steve, Piranha Plant, uh, Yeah, like, is Banjo-Kazooie even on this list? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah there they are. Okay, so, what was the purpose of this list? Like, really, how do you come to these ridiculous conclusions, right? Like, why exactly does this list need to exist? Like, none of these characters are gay. None of them, right? Like, the best you can come up with is that, like, technically Corrin and Violet have bisexual options, but, um... You know, nobody takes them. Nobody cares about them. Like, uh, they're not considered canon. You know, I, I don't like considering any um, any uh, relationship canon for, for an Avatar canon character. So, like, for me, it's it's just like... Yeah, like, not a single one of these characters is gay. And that needs to be more widely understood. 